the music sort of changing in the 80s and then people, for some reason, electric bass, electric guitar, electric instruments kind of got outlawed when it came to playing straight ahead jazz. And um, Mr. C and Trudy coming up in the, you know, during the 50s, I mean, you had acoustic bass players and Trudy liked to play with um, bass players. Um, actually, Shirley Scott was another one that liked to play with bass players as well. So, Mr. C, you know, he would say, you know, like, he sounds good, but you, you know, you know, I can't say this, please. You know, you got to get that, um, you, know, you, know, you know, stop playing that sissy bass. I mean, he used another word. He used the F word. Um, but I won't say that. He said, you know, you got to get that, you know, get rid of that sissy bass. So, actually, because of his needling, <laughs> it's probably, you know, he's probably one of the main reasons why I actually ended up um, getting an upright. I mean, I played, started playing upright in high school and I kind of let it go after college, um, which was back in the um, late, mid to late 70s. And I met Mr. C and Trudy probably like 84, 85, and probably started doing work 86, 87. Um, and I didn't start playing upright till 92, which is actually 23, 21 years ago. But I would have to say that a lot of that had to do with, you know, I just wanted to shut them up, you know. I just kind of said, okay, I got the bass. And um, so I definitely um, owe him, a, you know, something just for that alone. Because, I mean, I don't know. If he hadn't have done it, I might have never picked it up. It might have been a while before I did, but, you know, um, he just kind of insisted on that. And um, you know, I, I thank him for that. 